hi guys welcome to my youtube channel i am the lifestyle your vocal coach guys today i'll be reacting to incredible emotional and quranic recitation the other time on my channel i react to quranic recitation the story of noah and today i want to do incredible emotional quranic recitation right i do not know what this one is all about but i have to check it out in order to understand what this um incredible quranic recitation is all about that very day i was able to learn about noah i learned about noah son i learned about the storm that happened on the world and it lose everybody and i also learned about um how god says to noah that the son that he that refused to follow him to the ark was not his son even though biologically was his son but he was an unbeliever and at the comment session i had a lot of people commenting and they were able to tell me who a believer is in according to islamic religion somebody on my comment session says that uh unbeliever is someone who do not obey what allah is saying and also he also went on to say that an unbeliever is also a someone which if the truth is being given to you and then you refuse to accept the truth you'll be considered as unbeliever so that is it in a sense about someone who says his comment about an unbeliever so now i myself i'm actually a theologian okay and i want to learn more i want to learn more about islam i want to know what islam is all about because this is what theology is all about it's about understanding others people believe and religion and how they live their life which is exactly what i am doing i mean no harm for what i am doing i just want to learn about islam to understand what islam is all about and then to also understand the truth so guys if you have any islamic videos that you want me to react to you can actually drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out but at the course of this recitation i would not like to post this video i would like to watch it from the beginning to the end and from there i can react to it so without wasting much of our time if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my facebook and instagram and you have any video you want me to react to just drop it at the comment section and i'm gonna check it out so guys so a quranic recitation by abdul rahman so let's get down to the video Fuck! 
sad. This is sad.
Wow, this is beautiful and very, very emotion. You know, I could see emotion as he was going on reciting this um, Quranic verses. This is true and I so much love this. The truth about it is either of the religion you believe in because when you hear what he was saying is that there is not just a way for the wicked. No matter what you do on this earth, try not to be wicked. And then he makes you to understand that you should try to be what? To be obedient to the word of Allah. And he says that how you're going to be obedient to the word of the Allah is what? When you're obedient to him, one, and if you're able to what? To take care of the poor. So you see, it's very, very important for you to what? To take care of the poor. He made example of Pharaoh for you to understand that no matter how wicked you are. And that's why you see even in the Quran, I think there was a verse that was talking about that the body of Pharaoh will never decay, right? Pharaoh was seen as somebody who was a very, very wicked human being, not just only in the Quran, but also in the Bible. We could see what he did to the children of the Israelite. We see how wicked it was for the Bible or the Quran to be able to describe him, how wicked he was then at least it will give us a fair idea of who pharaoh is and will make you to understand and it's absolutely a very dangerous thing for you to want to stand at the rock of god because when you do that you will be destroyed and that's why he was saying that no matter what we do on this earth on our account we make sure that we do things that will be pleasing to god that will be pleasing to allah and that's why we said that on the judgment day of course everybody account is going to be open and it's going to be a sad thing for you to realize that you're not going to make it to paradise it's going to be very very a sad thing for you not to actually make it to heaven because on that day the bible i was even thinking that it's only in the bible that all these things are but now i'm beginning to realize that all these things are also in the quran then i think that maybe there could be some a little differences because everything that he was actually reciting is also in the bible and all those things here yeah, the move you understand yeah which shows that there might be a likely possibility that we may be serving the same god but maybe probably we just have some kind of different some misunderstanding about some certain things and that's why we see some of us do what we do because everything i could read from all this recitation everything was just as same as how it is in the bible because you cannot call yourself that as a believer and that's why he says that for you to be a believer, you have to be somebody who is obedient to Allah. You have to be somebody who actually feeds the poor, somebody who actually takes care of others. And you know, in all in all, either as a Christian or as a Muslim, you know, everything that our religion is trying to preach is to talk about what peace and love. So no matter how you could be on the religion, as far as you don't have love in your heart, as far as you cannot be able to love your neighbor as yourself, that everything you are doing is in vain and that's why he was even talking about what the message that um prophet prophet muhammad Ali, a messenger he actually wrote the quran he make you to understand that even what um and may peace be upon him whatever um prophet muhammad the message he has given to us through the quran if not they were true of course he could have died in the process of that but then what happened he's making to understand that here yeah, whatever prophet muhammad was giving we are all true word of allah and it's been expected of us what to obey the word of allah because at the judgment day everybody account is going to be open it's going to be shown to us like a television you're going to watch everything you do on this earth and it's going to be a very sad moment if you don't make it to paradise it's going to be a very sad day for everyone but we are hoping we hope that some of us will make it to paradise this is the end of my video so if you have any recommendation of any video or quranic video or scholar you want me to react to you can kind of drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out i want to learn more i want to learn more about islam i want to know more about islam i want to know why they do some certain things at least today i have learned some in-depth things about pharaoh about how wicked pharaoh was and some of the things he actually did in the quran those are the certain things that here yeah, we need to kind of learn and i also also encourage some of you who may be watching this you may not be a christian maybe probably you are a muslim try to understand people's faith try to understand other people what religion understand why they do what they do all right so guys this is the end of my video if you like my reaction you should like share and subscribe and follow me on my facebook and instagram so guys remain blessed